Hello everybody, this is Dallas with Mahalo and I'm here to teach you how to use iWork and specifically right now we're learning Pages which is a word processing application created by the wonderful Apple and um, this is part of the iWork suite which includes Pages, Numbers and Keynote. So um, right now with Pages I'm going to explain to you guys uh, how to use the toolbar. Um, the toolbar is a great feature of any document that you may be editing so that you can customize it and all that good stuff. So I'm going to open up Pages and I'm actually just going to open a blank document. Double click on it. So here's my document and the toolbar, if you're familiar with using OS X um, at all, most Windows, Finder window, any other application usually has a toolbar. Um, and it is this wonderful area at the top of our document. So I'm going to actually stretch it out a little bit because it's cutting some of the icons off. There we go. So it's this area of the document. This is the default uh, setting for our toolbar um, and you can customize this which I will show you how to do in a second. But I'm just going to go through each of these and show you um, the features. Um, also let me mention everything that you see on this toolbar is also a feature that can be accessed through the menu bar which is this bar up here. Um, the toolbar just allows you to access them more quickly so that uh, you know, if there's specific features that you use on a regular basis, you can add those to your toolbar. So um, first of all, again, if you know how to use OS X, you know what these icons mean. The X closes the window, the yellow minus sign uh, minimizes the window, and the plus sign makes the window fit to the size of your document. Um, you're probably familiar with those. Anyway, um, so we've got first menu here is the view menu. Um, this, this is a menu where you can turn on uh, certain things to view, uh, turn them off and on. So for instance, page thumbnails, when I select this, it's going to open up a sidebar here that shows me thumbnails of all my pages. Right now, my, I only have one, um, and it's blank, so it's a blank thumbnail, um, so I'm going to turn that back off. Um, the search is going to show me a search bar so that I can type for specific words um, within my document. I can turn that back off. Um, show styles drawer. Uh, this is going to turn on me being able to view my styles drawer, which styles are pre-formatted um, styles. So you got particular types of font, size, um, you also have character styles like strike through or underline and bullet list styles. So um, this I'll, I'll, I'll explain how to set that up a little more later, but just for now you can know that the, the styles drawer um, allows you to save certain styles of font so that you can reuse them over and over again um, later and apply it to different text and then be able to edit all of those styles at once. So that's uh, turning on and off the styles drawer. Um, then we have hide format bar, which your format bar is this lovely bar right here that shows you, um, you have you know, your fonts, um, you have different styles of like emphasis, strike through, underline. Um, this is again the same thing that would be visible in your styles drawer. Um, you can set different styles for different text. Um, and your font size, color, bold, italicized, underline, your formatting, um, excuse me, not your formatting, aligning, alignment guides there. Um, and then there's something being cut off, let's see. There we go. Um, we have the space between lines we can change from the format bar. Uh, we have the columns that we can adjust from the, co uh, the format bar. We can add columns, subtract columns. Um, and then this is our list menu that we can change from the format bar. So under the view icon, we can actually hide or show the format bar. I like to keep it on because I like to use it. Um, our rulers, also under view, we can hide rulers can show rulers, that's just this horizontal ruler at the top that we can see our inches, how large our document is. Um, show layout, this shows the borders around our different layout structure of our document. Um, and show invisibles, so we can uh, show uh, basically character, formatting characters that visually show us um, how our document is structured, like where spaces are, where new paragraphs start and that kind of thing. We made a video really going into detail with that. Um, and then show comments. So what's great about pages is you can add comments or have someone proofread your document and add comments. So like let's say I've typed a bunch of stuff here and I've written up this really great report 
and I shouldn't have said this area. So I highlight that and I can make a comment, you know, remove this. And that comment is anchored to that text. So we can show or hide our comments from our view menu. I'm going to hide those for now. So let's keep going here across our toolbar, go into detail with all this stuff. Full screen, it's going to take you into full screen mode so you can edit in full screen mode and remove all distractions. Outline is going to take all of your text and condense it down into outline form so you can easily create an outline. Um, doesn't really show much here because I don't have much text, but you can see when I click it, all of my uh, format, my formatting view um, goes away and it shrinks everything down into more outline structure. Our sections menu allows us to add a pre-built section or a pre-built uh, pre template to our document. So you, in this, because I opened a blank document, I have text page and a blank page. Um, but normally, let me actually show you when I open a letter or uh, let's say open a report under this sections menu, there's actually all sorts of different pre-built sections that I can add, like a bibliography, glossary, text page, chapter page, etc. So those are useful. Um, next, we have our text box, which in a word processing document, it's already one big text box, essentially, because it's a word processing document. You can add text everywhere. Where that's more useful is um, in a page layout, if you're doing a page layout document. So go to page layout, blank canvas, now there's nowhere for me to type unless I add a text box. So I click on text box. It adds the text box right here where I can start typing text. Next we have our shapes. So to any document, even in a word processing document, you can always add shapes for fun. Um, and it gives you a drop down menu that you can add all the different shapes to. A uh, table adds like a chart, or excuse me, it adds a spreadsheet to your document so that you can um, add in uh, you know, if you have a, 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 any type of numbers or anything that you want to do in spreadsheet form, you can add a table to your document. This is a little different than using numbers, which is actually a spreadsheet software that's part of iWork. Um, and then charts, you can add graphs and really cool 3D things um, using a, a table, using numbers in a table to create a chart. Um, the comment icon here was also under the view menu, but we can access it even more quickly, clicking here. Share is going to give you a direct link to um, the internet, so you can email or uh, share it via iWork.com, which is like a sharing program that uh, is testing with iWork. Um, so that lets you share the document with others. So we have our last four icons of our toolbar here. Um, we've got the inspector which is going to open up this window here, which uh, allows us to edit all of the different elements of our document. Um, and I'll go into more detail with the inspector because it's, it's a big deal. Um, next, we have the media icon, which opens up a window here that allows us to access all the different media on our computer, whether it be audio, photos, or movies, so that we can quickly add those to our document or project or whatever we're working on. Um, next, we have the colors icon which opens up this oh bring it back up hello opens up this uh, color wheel so that we can adjust colors for um, whether it be text or the color of a image or something um, you can use that and then finally the fonts window which if you have used any other program um, that deals with fonts on a Mac it opens up the same window um, that gives you the ability to change your uh, your uh, your font, change the, the face of it, change the size, the color, the style. Um, you can do all that from the font menu. And all of those are easily accessible on the toolbar by default, which is great. Um, finally, this little button right here is going to hide the toolbar. So you can turn it off or on if you want to hide it or show it based on what you want to see and what you don't want to see, kind of your preference. So that's the toolbar. Um, that's the default toolbar. You can actually customize the toolbar, which I will show you how to do in a different video. And until then, have fun working on your documents, and we'll see you next time. Peace.